Bangladesh has been in the limelight of the political discussion, particularly due to a recent terrorist attack in July this year. And uh, we would like to ask the Major General um, his reflections on the incident and um, particularly the political actors that tri triggered this um, terrorist attack. On the 1st of July, a major terrorist incident took place in Dhaka, Bangladesh. Just to give you a brief description of the ins incident, an attack took place in an off-market restaurant in the city, in the diplomatic zone of the capital, where normally a large number of foreigners go to dine in the evening. So we saw a hostage situation starting at 7.30 in the evening, where people were dining and there were about foreigners and Bangladeshis. So five attackers took over the restaurant and then segregated the Bangladeshis from the foreigners. There were 20 Japanese and Italian nationals in the restaurant at that moment. They killed all of them. And the manner they were killed were horrific in the sense that they were hacked to death and also shot. After that, the Bangladeshi nationals were there. They were allowed to go out of the restaurant. So they made a signature of their own saying that we don't accept the presence of foreign nationals because they are against our religion and that is a message they were trying to send out. And we also see unhappily that all the photographs of the incident were then uploaded by the attackers on the websites which were then carried out, carried also by the Daesh website almost on real time. So finally the incident ended with a military commando operation and all the five attackers were either killed or they committed suicide prior to the attack. But this was a major game changer of the terrorist incidents in the country. We have had a series of individual assassinations and killings by terrorist groups in the country for the last two years. But this was a major incident in which attackers took over a restaurant in the heart of the diplomatic zone of the capital and were, were successfully carried out killing of foreign nationals that had sent out a chilling message not only to Bangladeshis in the country, but to a large number of our friends and allies internationally. So this incident has been one that has shaken the country and it must be taken very seriously for the reason that it is for the first time we saw the youth radicalization at play at the form of violent terrorism because all the five attackers were of the age group between 18 to 22 or 23. Three of them happened to be university educated, two of them from Australian universities outside the country, one of them went to a private university, elite university in Dhaka City, and two other uh, attackers were from rural areas. So we see a combination of well-to-do affluent young kids, well-educated, from Bangladesh universities, also from foreign universities, and a combination of young madrasa kids joining together to carry out an operation. So we see a new turn of youth radicalization in the country. We see a violent turn of the terrorist incidents in the country. And therefore, this is a turning point in our counterterrorism operations and has to be taken seriously by Bangladesh and the international community. Mm. Well, thank you so much for your clarification, Major General. Now, before we go, um, I was just wondering, um, on the basis of uh, your account on the, this terrorist attack, um, possible ways to counter anti-Western sentiment in Bangladesh, uh, what would be your views on this regard? In this, the Bangladesh government is working with a number of our friends and allies all across the world. We are cooperating with all countries in building more cooperation for counterterrorism. We are also looking at ways of securing areas where foreign nationals live and operate and go about. So therefore, the confidence is being brought back so that they feel secure in the country, in that a lot of steps have been taken by the government and the law enforcement and they are bringing success to that operation. We are also uh, heightening the intelligence operations so that we have better understanding of what is going on in the underworld of the terrorist and militant organizations. It is also my understanding that we need to have more interfaith dialogue amongst faiths in societies and countries. And that is a way in which uh, my institute is also engaged in interfaith dialogue, so we'll be increasing more activities there. So a number of steps have been taken and more steps need to be taken. Mm, 
Well, thank you so much. It's absolutely brilliant. Uh, great talking to you and um, pleasure being with you today. Thank you.